I have a bunch of little crafts that I have worked on over the past few months when Alice is sleeping, and these are all things that she has not seen yet. Really the key to all this is that um, she really needs things to be new for her. So I have stashed things away and, and hidden things um, so that sh these things are gonna be new to her when I, when I bring them out, when I feel like she really you know, needs something new. So one of the things I did was made a new sensory box. I colored uh, just dried rice. I don't know if you can see it, but it's purple. And I use a lavender essential oil. So, isn't that sneaky? Um, it has a calming effect. The box is just going to be super, super simple. Um, it smells wonderful of lavender, and I just have in here like some marbles and some pine cones and some shells, and just very, very simple. Um, I'm just going to put like a little scooper, and I just want it to be like a calming thing for her when she just needs. Um, and she needs to calm down a little bit. Um, so she'll have the aromatherapy effect. She'll have the tactile um, sensation of, you know, feeling the rice and stuff. And this is just a little bit of a spin on um, another sensory box that she has where the base is like beans and it's a little bit more, um, it's louder and stuff. But this is, this will be sort of like a calming one. I made her a felt board. Um, I think I'll probably make a separate video about this because there are lots of like little felt games that go with that. But basically I just took a piece of cardboard and glued um, solid piece of felt on each side. I made one side light and one side dark, you know, and then just made shapes out of, smaller shapes out of felt that she can put on the board and move things around. And it's nice because it's a really quiet activity. I plan to make her um, just a new batch of Play-Doh. I'll probably do cinnamon because it'll be nice for the holidays. And then something I made based on an idea I got from Leah from Raising Bushes. Um, and we've already started playing with these because Alice really likes them. Um, they're sort of like exercise sticks, like I think she called them maybe busy body sticks or something like that. So um, they're just tongue depressors, whatever, craft sticks, I don't know, that I colored with marker, um, just different colors, and Alice chooses one, and on it it has a little message for something that she can do. And this is a physical activity because, like I said, Alice does need a lot of physical activity. We spend a lot of time outdoors, but that's not always possible in the winter, that's not always possible with the baby that's napping. Um, so these are things that she can do inside. It's like, you know, jumping jacks and kicking and running in place and dancing to a song and stuff like that. Um, she really likes being, you know, choosing the stick and seeing what it says. Leah does have a video on this, so I'll link to it. Earlier this year, I was part of a Busy Bag collaboration with some other YouTube moms, and we did a swap. So we each made like a little activity um, that we sent to all the other moms, and then um, we each received back something like 10 different busy bag activities. And these are things where like it's like a contained activity you can easily take with you. Something like matching clothespins that have letters on them to a little strip of paper that have, you know, that has the alphabet. And I reserved out a couple of these activities that I just felt like at, when we got them they were a little bit too old for Alice, but she's she's getting closer there now. I can't remember who did everything, but there are just different things. Here's one where you thread like little ice cream felt ice cream shapes onto sort of like a button snake. I think that's what they usually call these, something like a button snake. Um, Alice likes playing with this. You can work on the colors. It's sort of sensory. Something I made earlier this year was filling balloons with just different um, materials. So this one has flour, this one has water, this one has oats, uh, this one has lentils, I think. I don't know. But they have different sounds, different feels, and I just keep them, you know, all these things just have like their own little bag. So it's easy to pull out like one activity and you know maybe keep her occupied for I don't know a few minutes, ten minutes. I made her like a little name puzzle. This is just super simple cardboard. These were paint chips um, that I just put different letters on and you know she just matches them up with where they go, whatever. Um, so I'm trying to teach her her name. Here is a clothespin activity where you just are matching the color. So the clothespin has um, paint on it and you're going to match you know where this fits what color paint it is. Um, there's another clothespin game that Carrie um, a, mom, a, a mommy in the UK told me about which is just cutting like little tiny like pretend clothes out of felt or something or any scrap fabric and stringing up like a clothesline um, just somewhere in your house and then you know having Alice pin the clothes to the clothesline. I think that's something she'd be really really into. Um, you know, she sees me using a clothesline outside. She's at an age where she's trying to manipulate things like clothespins. 
So those are all like busy bag things, um, just like a contained little activity that you can pull out when you need it. You can take it with you somewhere if we're waiting in a doctor's office. Or it should buy me like a few minutes of, of entertainment for her. Okay, and the last thing is that I have been stashing away like little bits of things as I come across them um, for months now. All of you are very inexpensive, but just like new little toys and activities that I can kind of roll out as needed. So at a thrift store, I got a bunch of these foam sort of they're foam beads and little foam shapes. You know, we can work on threading these onto string or onto pipe cleaners. Um, the flat ones we can glue, you know, glue onto boards for an activity one day. And this was actually half price. It was a dollar fifty for this whole bag. I got some things at just the Target um, dollar section, some new flashcards that just have animals on them. These were a buck. A new sheet of stickers, I think these were also a dollar. Same thing for a dollar, this is a new cardboard puzzle. I was at Joanne Fabrics once and they were having 75% off their summer stuff. So I got her like a little paint with water. This was a quarter. This is a set of three sheets that are, um, I guess you can use markers. You can, you can color on this part, but the rest of it is velvet, so it really helps you kind of stay in the lines. And they're just, you know, different sheets with different shapes and stuff, so this is three separate activities. This is like a little magnetic um, photo frame, so Alice can take all the small magnets out and play with them, and then the frame is left, so then we can choose a photo and, you know, put it in the frame and put it up. We've got glow sticks, which are fun to put in the bathtub. This was 15 of them for a dollar at Target. So like I said, I've just kind of been keeping an eye out for a while for like really inexpensive things that I think she'd be interested in, and I've just hidden them away. It is really amazing to me, at least for my kid, how much of a mood changer, like just a simple like fun straw can be, you know, in a glass of water. I am definitely going to be enlisting Alice's help with the new baby, um, and I think really keeping her involved should help, but I know that there will be times where she, you know, won't want to help. She won't want to be involved with the baby and shows she's really going to want her own time. So I'm hoping some of this stuff will help, at least for like the first three months or so, just help our transition go a little bit smoother. And we will soon find out. So that's everything. Thanks for watching.